Uh, I guess it's kind of closed area. We can't really investigate too much. At last, Mr. Ness. Please get in. Yeah, identity probably. I could swear I've seen your face before. Sure, I'm the guy you served a slice of blueberry pie to five minutes ago. Thanks for remembering me. Please get in. I can't afford for you to catch a cold. Never follow stranger. <laughs> yeah, what the irony. Once when we've like got in his car, we get that message. The past catches up. I assume those are like chapters, uh, chapter one, chapter two in this episode. We'll be going up in a couple of minutes. I'll wait for you in the cable car. Up where? A cable car? That should be elevator, right? Perhaps they called elevators back then cable cars. <laughs> Kinda awkward, but still fine though. Oh god, this place. Okay, that on the right side is definitely something like Chinese symbol. So wait, they are working there, but... Okay, that's weird. Weird spot for that. The Hindenburg. Her forced landing in New Jersey almost cost the lives of over 100 passengers. So this is museum, right? Way too many people for museum. Yeah, nearly a fireball in midair. It would have burned down half the city. Okay, I'm gonna assume that. God damn it, I know which way we need to go. I wanna explore if we can. Yeah, we need to go. Oh god, that guy. That guy doesn't look promising there. To, oh, we can run now. Awesome. Okay, hopefully I turn that stick keys on shift, I hate those things, okay, nothing there. <coughs> I hate when I press shift repeatedly a couple times and then I got some dropped on desktop. Running is weird. I was waiting for that. I was just freaking waiting for that and we can't really do anything with him. Hey Ryan, owner of Ryan Hotel. The visionary who transformed the Hindenburg into the monument to aeronautical luxury it is today. Okay. Are those like sewers behind him? Oh, those okay, cable cars. And that it didn't lef left me to explore on the right side before we entered in. Okay, cable car. God, I mean, that was fail. I didn't expect cable car in this freaking museum or whatever the hell it is, but it looks like that we're going up there on that balloon. Am I right? We are definitely above the clouds. Scared of heights. Hmm. Since I was a kid, I like to keep my feet on the ground. <laughs> that makes two of us. Hmm. 
you need a paper bag, I have one. How high does this thing go? Higher than the clouds. Yeah, we kind of realize that. God damn it, that freaking balloon. Did it say balloon previously? Because that thing is definitely not a balloon. Kind of forgot that name. God damn it. I don't know, it looks so much futurist futuristic. Despite the fact that the game is made like in 30s, looks like at least. But it's gonna be around 50s, I'm pretty sure. Perhaps he missed date in those newspapers. Oh god. Wait, wait, wait. This is... We can see city down below. No clouds. Uh, okay, that is terrible design down there. Terrible. It kinda kills immersion after realizing that... We don't know that high after all. I'm afraid I can't come with you. Thanks for the pie. But welcome to the Grand Hindenburg Hotel. My name is Susan and I'm glad to be of service. Your name please? I assume we should go with false name. I'm Mr. Untouchable. In that case, I suggest you try not to live up to your name if you want to make the most of your stay at the Hindenburg, Mr. Untouchable. And now, how can I help you? I'm here to see Mr. Capone. There's no Mr. Capone here, Mr. Untouchable. Hmm. Listen, Susan, I know more than 60 aliases for Al Capone, so you have two options. One is to delay my appointment with him until I guess the right one, which he is not going to like. The other is to send me through and earn my eternal gratitude and his. Your call. <laughs> He's... He's in the presidential suite. Top floor at the end of the red carpet. Thank you. You mean Susan. second floor? <laughs> because there are not like no like hotel, Mr. Untouchable. More than two freaking floors. <laughs> okay, we can Your go attention, there. Please. The cable car to Santa Esperanza leaves in three minutes. What kind of person can afford this kind of luxury? Shit. You think it's going to be a quiet day and suddenly the storm hits you. Hmm. Yeah, we can't explore too much. I'm fine with that actually. I wanna see story, not lose time here and there. You can't go in there, sir. They're in rehearsal. Theater? Shakespeare's Titus Andronicus. They open in a couple of nights. Perhaps Mr. Capone can get you a ticket? Capone? He's at this hotel? Gosh, I'd heard the opposite. Well, we didn't have tries actually to pick up that sentence, even though... <laughs> I will definitely choose that, so... Oh well. Where are the freaking stairs? Well, I'm not okay. Now we saw clouds. I'm not gonna lie. Having a PC here and my equipment there, yeah, that would be so freaking amazing. Your attention, please. The cable car to Santa Esperanza leaves in two minutes. Hmm, will we need that cable car? 
or we're gonna stay here a bit more. I'm still eager to find out is that actually Capone or his son. A. Ryan, owner of Ryan Hotels, the visionary who transformed the Hindenburg into the monument to aeronautical luxury it is today. So Ryan is the guy who did it. The window cleaners up here deserve every cent they make. I wouldn't do it for all the money in the world. <laughs> well, yeah, I was about to ask how are they even doing that. But the guys are landing. Yeah, imagine that. Wait, it's Christmas, right? Romance on the brink of the abyss. <laughs> Nothing new. Well, damn. What the fuck is wrong Come with on. those machines? Like. They never work. Okay, where do we go? My magnificent flying wonder will purify the pagan city which with eternal fire. Oh. Wait, top floor. She said top floor on those stairs. Okay, that's a wine. Do not disturb, so we know what's happening inside. We don't need to be detected for that. <laughs> yeah, I guess there are more floors then. I thought there were only two. Cable car, my ass. Are you guys actually entering the elevators like that without actually seeing? Is there a floor, you know? <laughs> I'm kind of skeptical about that from movies, so I never like rush inside the elevator without actually realizing that everything is right inside. Oh yeah, this is so so Chinese. Rich Corona suit. I mean, I, I wasn't saying that in a bad uh, way. I actually like that style. What happened here? Nothing to worry about, my good man. What happens on the Hindenburg stays on the Hindenburg. Oh. You never had problems with the police. Oh, many a one, my good man. In fact, what I'm cleaning up is today's first problem. Hmm. Are you saying the law doesn't apply here? We're too high up, my good man. The law has always preferred to look down. Oh, we are above the law right now. How can you work in a place like this? <laughs> You don't want to know where I worked before this, my good man. I'm well, probably in toilets, right? I assume that's why he... What the hell is that? It sounds like knives. Hinderbrook Japanese Garden. Well, it's not Chinese, it's Japanese. Same thing. Almost. <laughs> Kinda. You know, but usually this is... Not really from for uh, not really far from Chinese as well. I mean, there right now it comes on my mind. Hitman, there is a mission in China of it. Pretty much same bridge, you know, same, same even trees. So I guess I'm not really that wrong. The amazing Carla, that look horrible. Yeah, knives. I was right. Oh my fucking god. Is she really a girl?
Yeah, it is. Bravo. Did... Oh, what the fuck? Wait, wait, wait. What the fuck happened there? He killed her and they made a plows because of that. What the fuck? Are these guys like fucking brain sick or what? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, that was so freaking weird. Bravo! Ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. Okay, that was weird. Weird. Okay, that should be if toilet. If I was my habit of checking all possible exits when I walk into the lion's den, I'd be a dead man. <laughs> if it wasn't for my habit yeah, of checking all really possible exits here. when I walk into the lion's den, I'd be a dead man. Okay, so I'm gonna assume that we can interact only once, and there is no point in doing something twice in this game. Oh my fucking god, it's him. That's exactly what I've been doing for the last 19 and a half years. You'll be surprised what a little good behavior can do for a person. Yeah, not gonna ask me for my last words this time. I'm a lot closer to death than when I last saw you. Bowling club. As are you. Not close enough. Hmm? Huh? Close enough for who? And his eyes gone. Are you sure we need to choose? Look, uh, I didn't ask you here to find out who's got the snappiest comebacks. I want to hire you. What? I require your services as a detective. So we are a private detective, right? Curiosity, curiosity, distrust, irony. I don't know what your game is, but if your plan was to surprise me, you've succeeded. Look, Ness, my granddaughter Sophia has been kidnapped. When what happened to my son, Vittorio, I, uh, I put her in a boarding school. Oh my fucking she god. She was entered under a false surname, Colombo. Nobody knows who she is. Nobody? Well, only Milton. The man who brought you here. I trust him completely. Two days ago, a guy turned up at the boarding school. He introduced himself as Guido Colombo, the girl's uncle, and her new legal guardian. He said her parents had just died in a tragic automobile accident. He produced all the relevant papers, driver's license, the custody document supposedly made out by the father, the death certificates. He uh, explained away the fact that the girl didn't know him by saying he moved to Seattle before she was born. Any clues? Nah. Well, Sophia was wearing a blue dress with flowers that I personally ordered for her from Italy. Uh, she was also wearing white ballet shoes with daisies embroidered on them. As for the guy, the school principal said he was tall and slim, uh, in his fifties. No particular accent. Black hair, no beard, no glasses. Well dressed. Could be anyone. But I know he was hired by one of my old associates. Someone wants to finish me once and for all. Maybe they want control of what's left of my organization. Maybe they hate my guts. And I thought I was the only one who still hated you after 20 years. What else have you got? I got this. And I got you. Wow. You don't have me. My place is at my diner. And your girl's not there. Huh. So where should I be looking? God damn it. So the life wasn't really kind with him after those kills. I assume his son died and now his daughter got kidnapped. Well, if I say police, that it's gonna be obvious, so... You were the biggest boss in the Mafia. 
And by the looks of this place, you didn't lose everything. Why don't you ask one of your subordinates for help? You don't listen, do you? The kidnapper was hired by one of my men. One of the people I trust. So why me? Twenty years ago, I pushed you to the edge. I bought your friends and killed the ones who couldn't be bought. I got you so obsessed with me that your wife ended up leaving you. When you had nothing left, you walked into my house, shot my bodyguards, and pointed a gun at me. You could have killed me. But you chose to take it out on this piano. You're the only honest man I know. Well, even if I say never, I'm pretty sure that you're gonna take this case, so... I'll do it. Not for you. For her. I knew I got the right guy. But I want something in return. As you can see, I'm not short of money. Ask. I won't haggle. Exile, jail, donation... Uh, wait, exile... Jail... Donation. Where the hell would we... Hmm. You give your entire fortune to the Santa Esperanza Hospice. There we go. That won't be difficult. I've been donating to them for decades. And I don't need the money anymore. I don't give a damn what happens to me, Ness. You just save Sophia. And you can start by investigating Carlo Baccarini. How did you know? Biggest forger in Santa Esperanza. Wouldn't surprise me if Sophia's so-called uncle's papers were made by him. Besides, he's been cursing your name ever since we put you in jail. Hey, I treated him like a son. After you killed his parents. They were selling booze without my permission. Wait, you know where to find them? I have a good contact at the station. A girl. Rookie. Straight arrow. Reliable. A girl? You were saying you trust her? You are such a chauvinist. Do you trust me? Lol. Well, it's not like that he had a choice. Uh, we could punch him, yeah. Deal. Oh, cheap son of a bitch. Okay. Informed at all times, huh? You hear me? That was kind of surprising. I somewhere. Those guys in that prison at the beginning were pretty tall, so he could be one of my suspects. Yeah. Just saying. Okay, where the hell are we and what are we doing here in that moon? Okay, we are dreaming. I don't get this part though. I'm just saying. Until he arrived. It looks like a dream, but. That's not cool. Okay, so that was like kinda like you know what happened. 
I'm gonna need help. Nah, we're not gonna drink. If we drink, we're not gonna be... We're gonna be covered, actually, right? That's what he said 20 years ago. Still curious what would happen if we wanted shale for him. Ness. Elliot, I found Carlo Baccarini. I knew you would, Alice. Write this down. 31 Wicker Avenue in Lakeview. Thanks. Nice work. Elliot, what do you want with him? He's got a hell of a file. Hmm. I think he's mixed up in a kidnapping, but my client doesn't want the police involved. What are you getting yourself into? Who's your client? Alice, I don't have much time. I'll let you know how it goes. Thanks. <sighs> Tomorrow's going to be a long, long day. Well, it's juice, so we should be fine. Old memory. Okay, so let's see, do we have some cutscene or something? 31 Wicker Avenue. This is it. You sure? I'm sure. At last. That stench of stale grease about you reminds me too much of my old job. I smell of grease? Eh, uh, I don't think anyone else had noticed. But when you spend a part of your sentence as a chef in the kitchens on Gore Island, you smell it a mile away. And how do you think I met Alphonse? Playing golf? Alphonse. On the subject of cooking, I know your blueberry pie had an extra something. I still don't know what. Alphonse. So what now? You got a plan? Take a look around, in case there's a rear exit. I'll take the main door. My pleasure. <laughs> Okay, but before we do anything guys, we're gonna stop here. Those should be like two parts so far So please let me down below in the comment section. What do you think about this game? Do you actually want to see more of this with commentary and do you actually prefer games like this? With or without commentary because this is kind of life of strange slash telltale games uh, style and they usually do them without commentary but since I did first uh, uh, this one actually this episode five days after release date I thought that I could do some sort of experiment and see what your are thoughts about this one so yeah please tell me down below your opinion and what you want to see from episode 2 which uh, I assume should be coming in two months right so yeah, thank you for watching guys one more time and stay tuned for more.